You've been working in the offshore arena for about 34 years, I believe. Can you give us a brief resume of your career to date? Yes, the first, uh, the first um, 20 years have been mainly with OEM uh, companies, uh, product companies, and the last 10 years I've been working for uh, fabricators, platform module fabricators. Um, so I've basically seen both sides of the arena, if you like. So what would you say is, is the biggest change you've seen in recent years? Uh, especially over the, over the past period of time, we've seen um, the fields becoming much more marginal, uh, more difficult to develop. Uh, I think the easy gas, the easy oil has been found and taken into production. Uh, what's left now requires uh, different techniques in order to be commercially viable for development. Now as a fabricator, would you say the industry is properly geared up to this development? No, I don't think so at the moment. I think the, the industry needs to be much more proactive. We can all see what sort of developments are coming with regards to, um, to shallow gas, tight gas, high pressure, high temperature gas. Um, in my opinion, the initiative at the moment is too much with the, with the clients, with the operators, if you like. Now, I can imagine there's a need for valves and pumps for these high pressure and high temperature applications. Um, but who should be taking initiative here to, develop the, the, to do the engineering or develop the standards? Is it the supplier or the end user? Well, in my opinion, the initiative should definitely be with, uh, with the manufacturers. Uh, I believe much more should be invested in, in R&D projects in order to make sure that whatever is being offered to the market is, is suitable also for future developments. Um, in my opinion, it should not be left to the, uh, to the operators, to the clients, because uh, then there's not a uniform standard um, and it's, it's actually lagging behind uh, with regards to what the requirements are. So you believe these marginal fields are lucrative for the industry? Uh, they, they can certainly be, if the right technology is being applied. I can also see a very warm support with the governments in the different countries um, that are active in offshore oil and gas exploration. Um, so I certainly believe the conditions are right, but the technology needs to improve in order to make it commercially viable.